Hi friends, this is Andy from Textor, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the procedure to basically rip apart the base touchpad, the entire assembly of the Lenovo G5070 as well as the Lenovo Z5070. The processors and the components for both the models are absolutely same. So if your laptop basically looks like this on the top, textured or maybe smooth finish, and it has a base like this. And once you open, if it looks like this, you can apply this particular procedure. Well, to start with, you need a screwdriver set, uh, you need a prior like this, and if possible, a prior like this also. And uh, you need a partition box like this actually to keep different kind of screws that are there in different compartments. It, I mean, you, Reassembling it does of great help. So the first thing first we are going to be removing the battery. That's the first basic thing that you have to do when you are opening your laptop, disassembling it. There are these two notches. Just open the two notches here and the battery will come out. Now you see this uh, entire maintenance hatch. We need to open that first. And uh, we open all the screws that are visible over here. Open the maintenance hatch. Uh, first thing first, we're going to be doing the replacement of the keyboard. So, for people who want to open the keyboard, need not open all these screws. Just this one screw and this maintenance hatch three screws. Keep it aside. Now you'll see these uh, screws for the keyboard over here. One, two. We need to remove them. a seal over here so you need to remove the seal remove the DVD writer uh, one two and three screws for the keyboard let us open the keyboard now so for opening the keyboard up uh, you just need to One of the keyboard screw notches, just need to pry them. Very gently open the keyboard. Now over here you can see there is this uh, notch which has to be removed to release the keyboard connector. And you can take a similar keyboard connector. Uh, this is the part number as you can see over here the people want to place an order so let's keep this aside now check uh, if there is any connector that is there on the inside you have to remove them this is the first connector remove it second one remove it there are no other connectors over here and there are no other screws over here so you need to go to the base again and uh, start opening all the visible screws that you can see inside. Just one screw over here. Screw. 
processor fan is out this is a cpu fan so if it's got clogged and there's a lot of dust inside you can just remove it and you can just clean it up now coming to the wi-fi chip here there's this one screw that you have to remove and then these two connectors The Wi-Fi chip will come off. This is by a similar uh, AC3160 Wi-Fi chipset. It's an Intel dual band chip that uh, Lenovo has. Now coming to the hard drive, there are these four screws which you have to remove. And then uh, just push it on the left side and the hard disk will come off. It's basically a 2.5 inches uh, SATA slim laptop hard drive that uh, Lenovo has used in this particular laptop. You can upgrade up to one terabyte if, say, your uh, laptop hard drive is 500 GB. So just take a similar hard drive. Then there's two screws over here, another two screws here, holding onto the hard drive. Just uh, remove this frame and then put it onto the another hard drive, and you can replace the hard drive. This is the memory here. Uh, it's basically a 1600 megahertz DDR3L low voltage memory that you have to use uh, you can upgrade this particular laptop up to 16 GB very easily 8 plus 8 GB so you can just buy a similar sodium memory and uh, you can replace now come to the DVD writer there is this one screw over here it's holding on just remove the screw and then uh, protrude the DVD writer like this and the DVD writer comes off so you can uh, put in a SATA this is a 9mm uh, DVD writer, 9.5mm uh, to be precise. You can use a HDD caddy uh, if you want to have another hard drive added to this particular laptop. Or you can just buy another DVD writer and insert it. So pretty straightforward. Only this one screw once you open the entire maintenance hatch. Now keep your laptop in this uh, position. Now you have to pry and remove the entire touchpad portion. This entire portion will come off and uh, the base will remain as it is. So let's start prying with a small prior. the way it start uh, giving away the touchpad area so let's keep going here very gently the entire touchpad will give away so if you want to just uh, replace the touchpad portion uh, this is the way you do it now coming to the part where the motherboard is and the other things the hinges are over here so many people are having this issue of uh, hinges getting broken over here. So first thing you need to remove this uh, power socket from here. Right. Now the hinges are uh, actually uh, screwed over here but many times the hinges are coming off because of uh, not very well designed uh, base actually. So you need to remove these uh, one, two screws over here and another two screws over here. Once you remove them, the entire LED uh, display frame will come off. So as of now, as you can see, the hinges are already broken on the inside for this particular laptop. There is no need to actually remove the screws. You need to replace the base here. Alright, so we need to now replace, remove the LED panel. So you see the Wi-Fi antenna wire uh, trail here just need to remove the Just remove 
this cable so that this part is now free and now we have to remove the VGA cable the strip connecting over here just remove this panel will come off the display frame is out now so in a normal laptop uh, this would not be the scene here as you can see the entire uh, thing has come off because of bad design of this particular laptop so we need to replace it let's keep it aside and coming to the motherboard here uh, we need to remove the entire motherboard and the speaker and the other things that are there for the base to be relieved This one screw over here which you have to remove. And then one screw over here. Then you have another screw over here. the strip connector just connecting to the USB and the memory card PCI slot then this is the speaker connector over here uh, which you need to remove If you have a replacement of the motherboard to be done, uh, you take another motherboard and just refit the whole thing. Now, you have to remove this one screw over here. And keep the USB connector on one side. The speakers will come off very easily. Keep the speakers on one side here. This is the SATA DVD writer connector, so we need to keep it on one side. And you can see the entire piece has been relieved re re uh, now. Uh, as you can see the issue is with uh, the hinges over here. So we just want to replace the base, just take another base and uh, refit the whole thing. So in a scenario, you have uh, this kind of an issue where uh, the hinge uh, base screws have also come along. Just take a cutting player and uh, you have to remove the screws that are holding on. And the screws will come off like this. got the new base as you can see and uh, very surprisingly Lenovo has not used uh, any different base or touchpad or any different products in the G series and the Z series so both the G50 and the Z50 the G and the Z both have the same base touchpad and uh, basically most of the components are all the same so we've taken a new base now as you can see it is uh, a new one over here and now we'll fit the entire thing back
paper so this my friends was a video showing you how to basically rip apart your base touchpad and the motherboard hard drive ram dvd writer wi-fi chip of the lenovo g5070 as well as the z5070 the procedure is absolutely same for both the models so irrespective of whether it is a g or a z you can apply this particular procedure all these parts are available on our website texto.co.in hope you liked the video do let us know your suggestions and comments and don't forget to subscribe to us thank you so much guys